the approval, the expedited approval of pavocyclib and letrozole uh, is now uh, a good option, another option for women with advanced ER positive, HER2 negative postmenopausal breast cancer. This is a large indication. Uh, you know, ER positive breast cancer makes up about 60% of breast cancer. Uh, and anti-estrogens have been a standard first-line approach for these women. And now with the addition of pavocyclob, given the magnitude of benefit and the safety profile, I think that this is uh, a, a very good option for women uh, with this indication. There are ongoing studies with pavocyclob uh, with other anti-estrogens, specifically uh, the Paloma 3 study, which is with fulvestrant. Uh, and pavocyclo versus fulvestrin alone for women who had uh, AI refractory disease or aromatase inhibitor refractory disease. Uh, but right now, uh, as it stands with the expedited approval, this is a very good option for women with uh, frontline ear positive breast cancer. This is the first indication for any CDK4-6 inhibitor. Uh, I think given that CDK biology has been known for several decades now, this is an important step forward because it has validated the target uh, as a, a valid therapeutic target in cancer medicine. CDK inhibitors have been around in the past, but they never really advanced very far in the clinic because of toxicity and lack of activity. Uh, what's been delivered now is that proof of concept that a CDK4-6 inhibitor can play a role in treating human cancers. I think this first indication is just that, a first indication. I have a lot of confidence, I think, that in other areas of breast cancer, uh, in other lines of therapy, that uh, drugs like pavocyclob will play a role. And hopefully now that CDK4-6 inhibition has found a first step, uh, there'll be a role in other malignancies. But I think critical to the successful development of pavocyclob or, or other CDK4-6 inhibitors is, is identifying which tar patients are likely to respond. The preclinical work uh, done uh, with the Revlon UCLA Breast Cancer Program and in collaboration with Pfizer really set the stage for the successful phase two study that we saw. I think similar type of programs and clinical trial strategies will need to be used as this drug is moved into other indications. We do know that there are other CDK4-6 inhibitors in development, uh, specifically Eli Lilly and uh, Novartis have CDK4-6 inhibitors. Uh, many of them are going after the same indication in combination with letrozole uh, as well as uh, other indications. Uh, but ultimately, identifying the patients who are most likely to benefit will be important.